Hey there, guys and gals. Thrice here, bringing you the second segment of this week's Oculus updates. We're going to be talking about some AMD stuff as well as the rest of the features from Update 23. Let's get into it. One quick mention I want to cover is the Rift S. If you are looking to get the Rift S because you're either trying to collect it or you're looking to get into VR and you've thought the Quest 2 or the Rift S and that's why you're watching this, you, you want to see some more Quest 2 info or, or possibly hear about something with the Rift S, well the Rift S will no longer be sold after spring. One of the big announcements that we want to cover today is going to be AMD's announcement that they're going to be fixing or they have fixed the O-Link issues. Now I say they're going to be fixing because unfortunately with AMD, I'm, I'm a 5700 XT Thick 3 user, woot woot. Um, they make mistakes and when they say they're fixing the problem, sometimes it means like two drivers later because they're actually trying to actively fix it now and so it takes a couple tries. Um, but they do an amazing job. I'm really enjoying it. I actually have an old driver version that I'm using um, and I'm gonna make a video on that as far as using the 5700 and what I've gone through but it, it's amazing using this specific driver but I couldn't use the latest one after <coughs> cyberpunk because uh, AMD and Nvidia updated their graphics cards for <coughs> cyberpunk um, and basically this update is supposed to really fix the problems a lot of people had with Olink so my problems with virtual desktop and Olink I got virtual desktop problem solved, Olink has still been an issue, this is supposed to fix that. So we're going to see how that goes, I'll bring more information to you guys, get you updated on that when it happens, so make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification for that video and other videos coming at you, as well as drop down in the comments below and hit that like button. We have a few more things to cover here. Um, one of the other things coming out from Oculus is going to be the Quest Move application that's going to be built into the Quest now. A lot of people are kind of uncomfortable with this app because of the fact it's kind of pushing another app out of the store that's a third party. Um, they're not necessarily getting rid of the fitness app that I know of, but I know that it's they're not promoting it. <laughs> they're now promoting the Oculus Move. And I personally have been using Oculus Move. I, I was in the forest last night with my buddy Zero. Burned half my calories for the day. It was hilarious. Just chopping wood, running around, stabbing cannibals. Stab, stab. Total blast. Another update from Beat Saber that is Oculus specific that we didn't mention in the episode before is actually joining from the parties in Oculus. So you have the Oculus parties for the quest. You can actually get together and then join straight into Beat Saber from that parties group. So that's going to be a really cool feature for a lot of people. I know the server grouping within Beat Saber has been a little bit iffy, so this is going to make it a lot easier for friends to get together and start parties in that way. And another thing coming out here from the Oculus Quest 2 is they're advancing this voice use when it comes down to the voice control options. So what I mean is when you do, like, you basically have a voice command to trigger your Oculus, well all those settings are going to get more comfortable as time goes on and supposedly in this last update they perfected it even more. So you can use your voice for activation from different applications now it's supposed to be available all around but i don't know i've had issues with mine i know that other people have as well i've had it trigger at random times it's not supposed to so we'll be looking more into that and seeing how this goes along but like i was saying working in vr not using your controllers having that voice application and having the ability to be more cross application when it comes to to certain applications like that it's super important and I think that's really the issue is a lot of third-party apps have had a problem because Facebook seems to lock down the device to where you're not using it like an Android or a computer where you have multiple screens multiple programs it locks you into that one program and we're kind of you know praying and hoping that with the voice with the move you know it's gonna start to make it to where they're opening those doors for developers to start making third-party applications that actually do cross application work. So something cool to look forward to with that as well. Hey everybody, thank you again for checking out this video and sticking around all the way to the end. It just means so much to me and I want you to know there is a community down in the description below. It's on Discord, you can join that. I do have some stuff going on there. It's not the most active at the moment, but there is a decent amount of people there, a little tight knit community and uh, 
definitely if you need any help when it comes to oculus quest you know vr general troubleshooting especially virtual desktop or shadow pc i i definitely have a lot of troubleshooting experience with that so feel free to join the discord and there's also links down below to help support this content and things that i do when it comes down to programming and different projects i have going on so feel free to join in discord like i said check out everything down in the description below and remember Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and it all begins with you. So I'll see you in the next live stream or in the next video. Take it easy, y'all.